Welcome to the Bajuran Wormhole. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. The next generation introduced the Borg right at the start of the series. They are made out to be at least one of the main villains of the show. They continued to make appearances throughout Voyager, Deep Space Nine, and even into more of the modern iterations into the franchise such as Picard. While never taking one specific form, the occasional exception of the Queen, they act as the main nemesis for Picard himself. While their nature and powers have changed drastically since their first introduction, there remains one strange yet creepy weakness present throughout their many appearances. They do not always respond to the presence of intruders aboard their ship. While this might sound fairly tame compared to all the other horrific and scary things the Borg do, it constantly makes for some of the most eerie scenes from the franchise. In several episodes, a Starfleet crew beams aboard only to be ignored by an array of mindless drones walking around like zombies. In the shows and movies, the peculiar behavior is used to create a sense of unease but it also skillfully explores a leading board characteristic they have such little regard for humans they don't even see them as a threat. The Borg see very little worth in humans due to their own twisted prime directive. To them, the crew casually walking around the ship is comparable to a fly buzzing around a house. Most of the time, there's no point in killing it as it's not really bothering anyone. The mysterious Borg were so powerful that they deemed it impossible that they could be harmed, even by people aboard their ship. So if they are not causing any havoc, then what's the point in stopping them? The Borg's lack of logical processing and adaptation meant that protagonists of the show did this multiple times. They gained unimpeded access to a Borg ship, rummaged around, and then used whatever they found to help destroy the seemingly invincible Borg. The Borg themselves never adapted to stop this. They only ever responded when the intruders showed physical ill intent, such as when they started shooting things or killing Borg. This is not just a one-off either. In the episode, The Best of Both Worlds, the crew of TNG boards a cube and installs a virus aboard, destroying the ship. They again do something similar in iBorg and Descent Part 1 and 2. They continue to let intruders walk around their ships all the way up until first contact. The Frakes directed movie that leans heavily on the creepy Borg element. The Borg are some of the best and simultaneously the worst Star Trek villains. They had the potential to be great and were for a while in the early TNG days. But for many fans, the additions to the Borg in the poorly reviewed Voyager and again in First Contact completely ruined the character of these villains. Thus, they became much easier to defeat even by the fairly weak. Writers perhaps lean too heavily on the effective creepy element of intruder non-interference. In doing so, they accidentally opened up a plethora of Borg weaknesses and undermined their destructive power. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.